My name is Cindy Olson. I had a grade two atypical meningioma. And I'm so used to saying my birth date is January 18th, 1959, because every time I go into the treatment room, they ask, name and number birth date. I was diagnosed on August 22nd, and I have a unique situation. I started with my primary care physician back in February of 2023, and he noticed I was off, and he said, make a an appointment at Penn Neurology. So the neurologist thought I had primary progressive aphasia, which is untreatable. And he said he couldn't confirm it 100% until he got an MRI. And that's when they found a brain tumor on August 22nd. No one has been so happy to have a brain tumor. Like they know what to do with a brain tumor here at Penn. And he knew this would be the right place for me. And I already had, uh, I have a liver doctor that I see here. So he knew I had an affiliation, but he did. He said, Penn Neurology. And to this, I wrote him uh, a letter and I said, you saved my life, literally saved my life. The mask. I had Googled, you know, the radiation mask, and I had heard stories about um, people that, you know, have a hard time with that, and I thought, I hope I can do that. So uh, that was probably my biggest concern, is how big of a problem is that radiation, radiation mask going to be for me? Going into like this private, like this own little world, the, the radiation oncology. And uh, I check in with Kathy at the desk, and by the second day, she knew my name. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the Perlman Center. I said, so uh, then you get a buzzer, and uh, so you wait to, for the first buzzer to go off. Uh, that's when they call you back to the gowned waiting area. And then you wait for the second buzzer to go to your treatment room. And I'm always in treatment room number five. And uh, they explained how that was like my, uh, my plan that uh, the beam like would always, I always had to go to room number five. Nope, time to go. Nope. Good to see you yeah. at the console. Nice to see you too. All right. So what today will be, and just to remind you, recap a little bit, today's the day we're going to place you in position for treatment. We're going to make the, that mask that has the holes. You can see, you can breathe. Um, we're going to get a CAT scan, and then in that treatment position, we will get an MRI. Okay. And then, of course, you'll go home, and I'll sit down and do the other part of my job, <laughs> oh, draw in what we need to treat, drawing what we need to protect. Okay. I am Michelle Alonso Basanta. I am a radiation oncologist here at the Perlman Center. I've been in our department over 15 years. Um, and I meet with patients, new patients and return patients, and uh, determine whether they need radiation. We see each other weekly during their course of treatment. Um, our team is obviously available if they need us any other time. Uh, and then I formulate you know, the plan and the follow-up so they will continue to see me after their treatment is done. I usually say you're stuck with me for life. Once you're under treatment, I'll be seeing you once a week, usually on Wednesdays, which is when I see everybody under treatment. You'll get seen by the nurse and the doctor oh. um, after your treatment. Sometimes it may be before, but most of the time it's after. Okay. And then it's just to see how you're doing, how you're feeling as we're going through the treatment course. Oh my gosh, that yeah. sounds great. so that we can make an immobilization device for you for your treatment. This is pretty called a mask. It's going to look like this for right now. And what we do is we stick it in really warm water and make it stretchy and pliable. It will come over your face and will feel warm like a wet wash rag. 
And the purpose of this mask is so that you don't move during your treatment. So it's really imperative to make sure that, not that you are bolted down, but it is to make sure that your face is immovable so that we don't treat any critical organs that the doctor doesn't want us to treat. Because the first day that I wore that mask in the treatment room and Harold, the funny radiation therapist, he's on his way out of the room and he says, now don't you go anywhere, you hear? And I just thought, that is so funny. And it completely put my mind at ease. Of like, this is gonna sound weird, but I actually find like comfort in that mask. Like when I'm laying there and they put the mask on and they'll say, okay, you ready? And then they bolt it to the table. Actually, I think they snap it to the table. It's a nicer <laughs> way to put it. But, uh, and then I just feel like, okay, good. I know I'm not gonna move. Does that feel okay? Feels good. Fantastic. I'm going to have your mask come over your face. Good job. Put that on. Fantastic. You're just going to feel the table move. I'm just going to line you up to the marks that are on your mask, okay? Okay. Then once we get lined up, I'm just going to bring out our imagers. Our imagers is going to be what's going to take your pictures every day. All right, Cindy, I'm going to bring out our x-ray panels, okay? And we're okay. going to get ready to image you for your treatment. Very good. once we give you your radiation. Okay. When we turn the beam on, all that we ask is you will nice and still. And if you need us at any time, please just raise your hand. We'll come right on in. There are two cameras and a voice monitor on you at all times. Oh, good. Thank you. And just everybody, like the patients, everybody here has just been like so special. It's, it's such a nice community. It's like this little underground world that is just a wonderful community. We all have the same goal. We need to get better. Those are the parts I'm gonna miss. Take your mask off and we're gonna get you down. Oh, thank you. You did so great. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Everybody, they just have this one goal in mind. And I said, I was thinking, I Yeah, I feel like the way it's over again. 
and you two are coming after you. <laughs> Oh, my God.